Hmm. Should I drill up anything today? Nah. How are we doing today, Mr. Ball Spinner? Uh, there's some awards, and some youth awards when I was a kid and stuff. Got a little pro shop down here. It's not much of a pro shop, but hey, it's mine. If anybody's curious, this is what a pitch black looks like inside. Yeah, I'll just. No, I don't decide to cut in half. Why not? Anyway, we are going to add some polish to Mr. Hellfire Frame. This is the next level in the series. Yeah. I really want to put some shine on it. I should have had that to it. That'll make it go forever. It'll never react. But we decided to go with this one today. Let's see what it does. A little black magic never hurts nobody. So, yeah, stick around and see what we got. Yeah. Yeah, Storm. Yeah. All right, there she is, all polished up. Let's see what we got here. I'm calling split. And that's a three bagger. The old stir ball. Why not? We're gonna give it a college try. I like that polish. Y'all like that polish? I like that polish. Also, um, failure to mention this earlier in the video. We got a little XL, XXL on the uh, Yoda Rock there. And we're gonna see what I can do too. I guess why not? Let's see if we can get one over here. Strong with Mr. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Lamp. Let's move you over there. All right, here we go. Let's keep it around. Oh, this is great. 
That's okay. That's okay. Last shot came off. That's okay. We're good. We're good. 232. We'll take that. All right, we're going to try a little Yoda Rock. I put a little XXL on it. Great. Very afraid. I'm going to get my hands on it. It'd be great. Do some calculations here. So let's just move in, way in. Way in. Up, up nose almost. Let's even get another one right here. Same spot, same reaction. Definitely good for transition lanes. Can't stay dry, get faster than you too. Yeah, same spot. Same spot, exactly. That's good, that's very good. All right, so we got a little configuration going here. Let's see if we don't leave a 10 pin here, we straight. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Good shot, very good shot. Oh, move out of 
on any or just play right on between five and ten. Four. So it's hit the pocket, leaving fours. I'd rather shoot a four to a ten. Don't want to say to that. Helps to kick it a little bit. All right, over here we left the four eight last time. It's a good little 200 game. Gotta slow it down enough for it to react. I can move in just a little bit more. I got bored. I get bored too. But I can't do it. really coming handy on transition lanes especially that polish on it yeah it's been coming really 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 handy Good little game. I'll take those. I'll give my review on this polish. Wow, the difference in the two polishes. It's freaking amazing to me how much difference they really are. Now with the Hellfire Flame, I use the virgin, the second level of the Magic. Come out controlling perfectly, did great. Try to throw the same spot with the XXL with the Yellow Rock. Not happening. Ball hardly ever reacted. Smooth right in the pocket until you hit some transition. Can't say dry on YouTube, I get bashed. Transition spots. <clears throat> Got the breaking point it wanted and turn. Bad thing is I moved in about, oh no, God, how many boards I moved in? Oh good, nine, 10, maybe 11 boards in easily. Possibly 13 boards in with the Yoda Rock. Now saying that, the Yoda Rock does not have a really aggressive layout on it. It's a really lengthy layout. So if I want to control, control the lanes, that's the ball. I can just play an angle shot, slow down my speed, a bit on 10, 10 and 15 kind of areas, 13, 12, and let her take off. Now the Hellfire Flames, a different story. I have to put that baby on 9, 10-ish, maybe 11-ish kind of area, and it does it. The Hellfire is a different layout than a Yoda Rock. It's a little pin down, forward and seven eights, I think it was. I can't remember the top of my head, it's on another channel, I mean, other video I have on my channel. But yeah, um, that's, wow, what a difference in two polishes are. I mean, it's just amazing. And then I seen, I bring the old spare ball back out, and I polish the tar out of that bar, too. So, I need to work on my 10 pins. I really struggle lately. I've been trying to pick up 10s with the Royal Queen, but it is not going to happen. You know, since I'm wrong foot, I thought, you know, something with a core and a weight block, you know, kind of react a little bit. Well, it act, reacts a little bit too soon for me, even with a polish on it. So, I just got to get the old plastic ball out and somehow adjust. That's what you got to do to your bowler. You got to adjust figure out something, figure out the shot out, figure a good line, and play that line. But anyway, um, I am staffed by California Bowling. If anybody's interested in California Bowling products, let me know down the message. And hey, if you're down here at Dixie Bowling, Louisville, Kentucky, come on in. Hey, work on your 10 pins, 8 pins, 9 pins, 7 pins, and apparently today it was 4s. A couple, days, a couple of weeks ago it was 10s, and the week before that was 8s and 9s. That is 4 pins. So we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good with 4s. I'll take 4s every day over 10s. 
But, and also, there is a promotion code at BowWifi.com. Save $5 off a jersey. Use my promo code. And, hey, I don't do this for a living. I said almost every, every video I have. I have a 9 to 5 job. I just like making videos. So, hey, catch you around.